Welcome to Informatica video KB series. My name is Neeraj and today we will learn how to create a Redshift connection in Informatica Cloud. These are the steps that we have to follow. First of all, we will create a new user in AWS. Then we will obtain access key ID and security access key for the user. Then we will launch a new Redshift instance and finally we will start creating the connection in Informatica Cloud. So let's get started. So first of all, I will go to create my new user. So uh, there is a slight uh, interface change in, in AWS. These are the shortcuts. So if we, so there is a change in the interface. So I will go to I am in the security and identity or I can go straight away from here. So I'm going to identity access management and then I will click on users. I will create a new user. I will name my user as info user and then I will click on create. Once I create the user, I will get the access key ID and security access key. Uh, we have an option to download the credentials. So we will go ahead and download the credentials and keep it safely. So once I open this file, I will see my access key and security access key so these are the details we will need to create a connection in informatica cloud so our user has been created i will go back to the console and then i will go to redshift i can click here or i can go from database and then click on redshift so i will create a new instance i will call the instance as infa infa yeah. and then the password and once we fill in all these details I'm sorry we cannot use uppercase here so I'll change it and then I will just click on continue and then continue it will take some time to launch our instance and we can check here so this is our cluster in it says it is creating so uh, one where in the meanwhile when the cluster is getting created we will go to informatica cloud and I will show you the connection parameters so sorry so i will go to connections and then i will click on new and i will read uh, i will uh, name my redshift connection as redshift infa user i'll choose the connection type as amazon redshift then I will choose the secure agent and here is the username and password so this username and password is the username and the password which we have provided when we created the redshift instance so I named my uh, the username was infa and I will put the password and then the access key ID and access security key which we have here in the excel file i'll put these details here and i have all these details and number of nodes in the cluster i will say one and the jdbc url jdbc url is the URL which you will get only when your AWS instance is launched and it's up and running. So here it says it is still trying to create it. So I will just wait for uh, some time for the instance to get created. Just give it some time. It should be created. Just one moment. So here we can see that our Redshift instance is available so let's get the jdbc url so the jdbc url uh, we can get this by clicking on the cluster 
uh, the Redshift cluster and this is where you get the JDBC URL. I'll just copy it and then I will go to my Redshift connection in Informatica Cloud. I have put it in the JDBC URL and then we will go and test the connection. Hopefully it should be fine. Yeah, as you see that connection was successful. We will click on OK and our connection is saved. So this is the way we can create our Redshift connection. So, uh, we would love to hear from you if you have any feedbacks. So please write into us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can check our Twitter handle at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you for today.